Hey there. So this is going to be a real quick one. Um, I've just seen a lot of people ask this question or have issues with this, and that is getting a GIF into your Klaviyo SMS messages. So there are very specific parameters you have to meet. The file sizes have to be really specific and making a GIF sounds easy, but depending on, you know, what you have, you know, anyways, we're going to run through the exact steps I do when I have a client that wants to have an SMS go out with a GIF. So follow along. This is exactly what I do when I'm looking to create these for my SMS messages. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So go ahead and go into campaigns and create your SMS message. Um, I already have one here kind of drafted. So we'll jump into this one. Okay. So first things first, before we kind of start diving in officially, um, you need to have your video clip ready to go. So as much as you can, even using like uh, an online video editor, just trim down where you think your GIF will be in the clip. I'm just saying that because sometimes I'll get a video um, in my inbox. It's like, okay, let's turn this into a GIF. And it's like 20 minute long video. Cut it to where you think you're going to want to have your GIF app. Okay. And we're going to go over into Canva. So in Canva, you're going to go ahead and create a design and you're going to do 380 by 380. So Clavio recommends you do 480 by 480. The issue I normally see with that is that 480 by 480 is normally too large of a file size after you export it. That's the biggest headache is the file size is too large when you go to upload it into Clavio and you get tons of errors. So 380 by 380 is just a bit smaller. You still get a nice kind of square GIF in your SMS message, but it's not, the file size is a bit more reduced. So it's just a way to kind of cut down a little bit of the file size. So create your new design. And we'll go ahead and call this test GIF one. Okay. So once you upload your video, you'll find it in your video section and we have ours here. So in this example, we're using almost like a, like a stock image for this example, but go ahead and double click and you can kind of position it for pretending that this is a dog food brand. Okay. And you're going to come up here in the top left and where it has trim. Um, I know that I want my kind of GIF to be kind of here in the beginning. So I'm going to trim this all the way down. We are looking for at least 0 0.9 seconds or less. Okay. So a very short GIF. I know a lot of times um, I'll have clients that are like, okay, well, I'd rather it be like, you know, like, you know, at least like this three second piece because it's so important. It's like, okay, we just want to catch their eyes. That's really the goal of a GIF. Catch their eyes so that they can read the message. Okay. So we'll play that. Do, 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 do. Looks cute. Okay. We're ready to go. So over here on share, you're going to go to download and you're going to drop it down to GIF. And we're going to download. So I wish Canva would have some updated settings on how you want the export to be, but you get kind of a full quality export. So that's where we're going to go into the next step. Save that real quick. Okay. So you're going to go over into a website um, called easygif.com. This is what I use. So we're going to go and drop in, actually going to come over here to GIF optimizer. So basically what we're going to do is shrink down the file size even more. So let me go ahead and grab my file and upload. So as you can see, when I uploaded it, I can see the file size. We're currently at 782. We need to be at 600 or less. So um, keep it at lossy GIF. Um, and we're going to bump this up to a compression level of 80. All right. That may actually even be a bit more than what we need, but let's see, because sometimes we got to, we got to keep testing and get it in the right spot. So we will click optimize GIF. And that gets us right at 601. So actually we need to bump it up just a little bit more. Let's try 85. Okay. 593. Exactly what we want. So as you can see, the quality is slightly reduced. You can see a little bit of fuzziness. It's going to be on an SMS message. So you got to think, okay, quality, you know, again, this is an eye catching mechanism. It's just something to really kind of drive home a message in your SMS. So like in this example, it could be like, you know, you know, something cute about like, you know, hey, you know, take your dog to a beach day or like, hey, you know, these new treats help with itching. I don't know, something like that, right? This is a fake brand. So <laughs> click save. 
and dog gift one. We'll save that. Okay, so back over into our SMS message. So you're gonna come over to add media and I have an example one here, but we're gonna re-upload the one we just did. All right, and there we go. So you have your GIF in here. Um, that is really the easiest way to get your messages there. The, the trick is, is to make sure your clips are nice and short, okay? So just wanna make sure, and especially if you're searching for, um, I know I have a couple clients who will be like, oh, can you pull this GIF from, um, you know, Giphy? And usually the file size is way too large. So this is ideal if you wanna make your own GIFs, which I highly recommend because they are owned by you. So you know, there's no royalty issues. Um, and it can be super cute, you know, related to your brand. So that is the exact steps I follow for getting a optimized short GIF made quickly for your SMS messages. It's a great way to draw attention. It's a great way to supplement your message in there. Um, you'll see a lot when using GIFs that your click through rates can definitely go up a lot more because people will have their eyes more drawn to their SMS messages. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any additional questions on getting this created in your SMS messages, put it in the comments below. Until next time.